In this video, we will be going over a pre-shift forklift inspection at Macintosh Box and Pallet. Do this with the forklift inspection sheets before each shift. You first want to walk around the forklift and check for any obvious damage or leaking fluids on the ground. Make sure there are no cracks in the forks. Lift the engine hood and remove the oiled dipstick. Check that the engine oil is clean and filled properly. Unscrew the hood behind the seat. Open the coolant cap and make sure it is clean and full. Only do this when the engine is cold to prevent injury. Blow off any debris buildup on the radiator. Inspect the neutral start feature. Put your foot on the brake, release the emergency brake, put it in neutral, and start the engine. And then you see the Test that the brakes bring the forklift to a complete stop. Test the emergency brake. If it is pulled toward the driver, it is activated. If it is pushed forward, it is disengaged and may beep. Test the horn. Test the steering. The engine should be on in order to activate the power steering. Test that the seat belt pulls out with ease and clicks in properly. Confirm that the data plate and all required decals are in place. If they are dirty, brush them off so that they are legible. Inspect the fire extinguisher. The gauge needle should be in the green. If it is not, it needs to be serviced. Inspect the hoses and chains above the forks. They should be free of breaks and cracks. Check the fittings on the hoses to make sure they are properly connected. Make sure the propane system is intact and that there are no leaks. There should not be any odd smells or liquids coming from this area. If you smell something or see a white film over the connection points, it is leaking. The pin on the bottom of the tank should also securely attach the tank to the vehicle. Inspect the backup alarms and lights. If you find something during the inspection that seems wrong, or you have questions, do not operate the forklift and consult with your supervisor.